Well, let's see the next question. There are two candles of equal length. One of them burns completely in eight hours. Both of them are ignited together and are extinguished after some time. The remaining length of one candle is four times the remaining length of other candle. Find for how much time the candles will burn. So you can stop the question. Sorry, you can stop the video and read the question carefully. So quickly, I repeat the question again. There are the two candles. Okay, there are the two candles of equal length. Let's see the L meter and L meter. The length of the two candles is equal. L meter. One of them burns completely in eight hours. I'm sorry, there is a mistake in the question. So let's correct it. There are two candles of equal length. One of them burns completely in four hours. In four hours. If this candle takes the four hours to burn completely, and then the other will take the eight hours to burn completely. So these are the respectively the four hours and the eight hours. This is the time needed for the each candle to burn completely. So both of them are ignited together and are extinguished after some time, but we don't know when they are extinguished. So let's say that after t time, they are extinguished after some time. The remaining length of one candle is four times the remaining length of the other candle. So we have to find out. For the how much time the candles were burn. So let's see. For four four hours, it takes the four hour to burn this candle completely. So in one hour, this candle will burn. Will be the yellow light. And if this candle takes the eight hours to burn the to burn it completely, then in one hour, the This candle will will burn the yellow by eight. I can say the yellow by eight, and we know that they are ignited at the same time and extinguished after some time. So we just have to assume that assume that they are extinguished after t time. So up to that t time, this candle would have burned the yellow by four t, and this candle would have burned yellow by eight t. Now the remaining length of one candle. Now let's see. If this candle takes the four hours to burn, and this candle takes the eight hours to burn, mean this is faster, and this is the slower one. So this is the faster. That's why after t time, the remaining length of this candle will be the less, and the remaining length of this candle will be the more. So what is given in the question is the remaining length of one candle is four times than the other candles. That's why the more the length. Would have remained of this candle. That's why it should be. It must be the four times one candle should be this, and this will be the one because the four is to one. This is the ratio. What is given in the question? The remaining length. But we don't know the remaining length. Initial length of was the L meter. And after burning for the T time, the length is L by four meter. So I can we can calculate the remaining length now. The remaining will be of this candle L minus L by four T. And here again L minus L by eight T. So what is given in the question is the remaining length of one candle is four times the remaining length of other candles. So if we take the ratio L minus L by four T upon L minus L by eight T, the remaining length of one candle is four times the remaining length of the other candle. So this will become the four L minus L by four T into four is equal to one into this. L minus L by eight T. Again here, four L minus four four gets cancelled here. Minus L T is equal to here it will become. So again here, this L minus L by eight T. Again this four L minus L three L is equal to minus L by eight L by eight T plus this L T will go here. Then again. So again here, let's see. This minus L T plus eight L T. This will become the seven L upon eight T. This is the three L. So again L will become seven by. So here, if I take the L T, okay. So T is equal to this is the three L into this eight upon seven L. L L gets cancelled. Eight three is the twenty four upon seven T. So this is the time needed for the can. So for this this time. For this much of time, the candle, the both the candles were burning. So in terms of hours, how we can calculate it? Seven threes are twenty-one. Twenty 
थ्री जार ट्वेंटी वन रिमेनिंग इज थ्री अपॉन सेवेन अवर सो फॉर द थ्री अवर प्लस थ्री बाय सेवेन अवर द टोटल द टू कैंडल्स वेर बने सो प्लीज रीड इट केयरफुली क्विकली रिपीट वॉट आई डिक्लेयर इज तो क्वेश्चन वॉज देर आर द टू कैंडल्स ऑफ द इक्वल लेंथ दैट्स ऑफ द टू कैंडल्स हियर इक्वल लेंथ एल मीटर एंड एल मीटर वन ऑफ देम बंस कंप्लीट इन फोर अवर्स फोर अवर्स है अदर बंस कंप्लीट इन द एट अवर्स both of them ignited together and and are extinguished after some time but we don't know after how much time they are extinguished so we just have to assume that after t time they are extinguished the remaining length of the one candle so now let's see if this candle takes the 4 hours to burn completely and this candle takes the 8 hours to burn completely means what this candle burning time is faster this candle burning time is slower so after t time they both the candles are extinguished that's why up to t time the remaining length we have to calculate the remaining length of this candle would be less because the burning rate of this candle is faster and this candle is slow so in 4 hours if this uh, candle burns completely then in 1 hour this will burn l by 4 and this will burn l by 8 so up to t time this would have burned the l by 14 and this would have burned the l by 18 now the remaining length will be total l meter the length was initial so l minus l by 14 remaining and the remaining of this candle would be l minus l by 18 Now the ratio was given. The remaining length of one candle is the four times the other candle. That's why the remaining length of this candle is more. That's why this upon this is equal to one by four. After solving all these things, what we got here is t is equal to twenty four upon seven means three hour three by seven hour. This is the answer. So for the three hours three by seven hours total, the both the candles were burning.